Hi, my name is Benta, I'm the Norris Witch and welcome to another new moon vlog. So today is a new moon in Virgo, while it's also Virgo season, so the sun and the moon <laughs> are both in Virgo. That was my cat. Uh, so yeah, the sun and the moon are in Virgo and I'm really feeling the Virgo energy at the moment. I really crave getting rid of all the stuff that I don't need, finally cleaning up some spaces in my, in my flat that I have wanted to clean up for ages but I never got to do it. Um, I really want to clean and cleanse and banish and set up new protections and update old ones because to be honest I haven't really maintained my protections in the last weeks and months. Let's just say, say that I haven't really been on point with that. I've really slacked. Uh, so I really, really, really need to do that again. Also, I have been just in general feeling really just tired and exhausted and um, while yes, it could also have other reasons, it could also have magical reasons. It could be both. So I'm trying to eradicate both mundane and magical reasons. So that's also why I'm a little bit weird in front of the camera right now because I haven't filmed in three weeks, I think, because I actually took some time off. You hopefully haven't noticed that because I had pre-filmed a lot of videos so that I could take some time off. But yeah, it's the first time sitting in front of a camera in three weeks. So it's a little bit strange, but I'm really excited. Uh, like my motivation and creativity is back. So yeah, I took these few weeks off of uh, shop work and also YouTube work so that I could just wind down a little bit because I felt really burnt out beforehand and if you know the feeling of being burnt out you are exhausted you don't have energy to do anything you just want to sleep your creative your creativity is non-existent so that is how I try to get rid of the mundane reasons of just feeling exhausted and blah in general but yeah I'm still kind of a little bit exhausted sometimes so I'm thinking let's try to eradicate the magical reasons too so that I have kind of a clean slate. So yeah, we have a lot to do today. I already had a great big breakfast and I kind of planned out my day, everything that I want to do. My cats have the zoomies right now. If you hear that, I'm sorry. Wow. Meow. <laughs> Zoomy cat. Um, so what we will do today is, uh, first of all, I want to just, as I said, get rid of some stuff that I wanted to get rid of for some time and set up some things that have been lying around that I wanted to set up for some time. That's what I want to do first. Afterwards I want to take a cleansing shower, so I want to uh, make a little bag with herbs that I can take into the shower with me because unfortunately I don't have a bathtub so I can't take a cleansing bath, but a cleansing shower also works really well. Then I want to make a cleansing incense, the same one that I also sell on my shop. I want to make that a new batch because I've run out. I want to make a new batch of that and uh, use that to cleanse both myself and my whole apartment. And uh, I also yesterday wrote a little banishing, like a little daily banishing and protection ritual for my flat. I want to try that out. So then we have cleansed and we have banished everything that didn't want to leave when I cleansed. And then I want to get into protection stuff. But you will see later what I have planned for that. Let's start. Okay, so first let us take a look at this situation. As you know, I have a shop and uh, my shop has grown quickly and um, it has outgrown my storage capacity. So I have a lot of crystals, herbs, crystals, uh, stuff, crystals, plushy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just lying around here. Here's some some woodwork stuff. Uh, very dusty now because it has standing there and hasn't been moved in uh, yeah lo a long time. So let's first get rid of this stuff. So let's tackle this first, shall we? I brought my handy dandy dust cloth because <laughs> everything is very very dusty. 
As I said, this has been standing around here for ages. So a lot of it is dusty with some stuff, doesn't really matter if it's dusty or not, but some stuff shouldn't be dusty, especially not as dusty as it has gotten now. Um, so I'll just clean it a little bit at least. Um, this normally goes into one of my shelves. I've just been, yeah, I don't really have an excuse. I've just been lazy and uh, couldn't be bothered putting it away. That is stuff that happens when you have little to no time for anything because you're overworking yourself constantly then you don't find the time to clean up. So that is something that I want to tackle now. Um, this is all just woodworking stuff. So it's, yeah, like wooden stuff that I want to work on, candle holders, um, sand pa sanding paper, wooden chips for rune sets, everything like that. It's everything for my shop basically and I just have to get it a little bit more organized and then I can put it back into the shelf where it belongs and then it will be fine but yeah I just have to I just have to get this shit organized a little bit because it can't stay like this Oh gods, do you know the feeling when you've finally done something you've avoided for ages? It's finally gone! I also put up the herbs, finally back up there. Okay, next up, getting all the crystals from the box into the cabinets. Okay, I'm done now and this is very satisfying. I will show you the, the other side too. Crystals over here. I have my wands, tea light candles, my oils, one leftover bind rune, some necklaces and herbs. This is very satisfying. This is really nice. Oh, this is so satisfying. I actually have not found a solution for this box of mixed crystals, but well, at least it's the only box left sitting here and everything else is cleaned. Oh, there's so much more space now. I love it. I quickly put up this Mucha calendar off, ca off camera. I wanted to do that for ages now too. Never got around to doing it, but now I did. Yeah, but that's basically everything that I wanted to do. So let us take the cleansing shower.
Okay, so let's quickly make our cleansing spell bag for the shower. So I have sage and rosemary from my balcony garden and I have some dried lavender and I will quickly just grind them up a little bit. I'll add a little bit of dried lavender and I'll spill it everywhere because I don't have fresh lavender. I will grind that up a little bit. In my opinion, this doesn't have to necessarily be very well grinded down. As you see, I still have full on leaves in there, but what the grinding does is that it kind of sets the oils free from the herbs. And now I will put this all in this little organza bag. This is just some general basic bag that I had lying around. Uh, if you want to do this, of course, make sure that this is not a bag that is waterproof. So since this is organza, it is very fine. So a lot of water can go through it. Of course, that's important. Okay, put this all in there. Close it up. Bam. And then we have our little cleansing sachet for the bath, either for the shower or the bathtub if you have a bathtub. So I'm now thoroughly cleansed and also my apartment is cleansed. It already feels so much lighter in here. As you saw, I cleansed on charcoal in my small cast iron cauldron. And I really like to do that in my apartment because normally I really like to use herb bundles. But if I use herb bundles and burn them and run around in my house with them, the burnt herbs just get scattered everywhere. And especially if I cleanse, for example, in my bed with white sheets, I don't want burnt herbs in my bed. So doing that on charcoal in a small, you could do it in a sensor, in a cast iron cauldron, in whatever, as long as you don't burn yourself, 
in my opinion that's much easier much less stress and I don't have to run around and relight my herb bundle all the time because the charcoal stays hot for a very long time easily as long as I need to cleanse my apartment and myself so yeah now that that's done as I said I wrote a little daily banishing ritual or banishing and protection ritual that I want to try out I won't show you what I'm doing because that is the first time that I'm doing it so I have no clue if it works properly so I don't want to tell you what I'm doing and then in the end it doesn't really work so yeah if it works I will tell my patrons about it first and then maybe at some point I will put a YouTube video about it up so yeah I will do this quick banishing ritual now and then I will see you afterwards and then we will do some protection okay so I just tried the banishing and protection ritual the small daily thing that I wrote and it actually went really well I'm kind of proud of it so now I have cleansed and I have banished it. Everything feels much nicer, much lighter, much smoother. But now that I have done all of that, I want to set up some more protection. And the first thing that I want to do is to craft a little protection bundle of mugwort. Because I recently found out, um, because last month I was at a workshop about herbs that were used in the Viking Age and I found out that mugwort was already used during the Viking Age for protection. Like that's one thing that they used it for. <laughs> but yeah, great. I love mugwort and I recently harvested a big piece of mugwort. So let us craft a little protection bundle with it. Okay, I have now successfully gathered some mugwort. Now I just want to remove some of the tiny pieces right here because I need a piece of like just the stem. So I will go on and remove the last two little sprigs of mugwort. Now we're left with this, so I can easily bind these together and since this will be for protection of course I'm using some black yarn and what we will do now is actually very easy we will just take these sprigs and bind it around a couple of times I will do nine <laughs> because of course nine so one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and nine. So we have bound it nine times. And then put some knots into it. And I will also put nine knots into it and um, charge these knots with the energy of the rune Algis because it's a protection rune. So I will kind of intone algis while I'm tying these knots so I will basically charge these knots with the rune algis algis
it's already done. Tied it around nine times. Nine knots charged with Algi's energy. A nice little bundle of mugwort. And now I can just hang this somewhere in my apartment. So the mugwort bundle is done and it came out pretty good. I like it. I will keep it now near my altar because I feel like that's probably where I will need it most. Um, if I ever feel like I need more mugwort protection, I will just make another bundle and hang it somewhere else. I have it more than enough mugwort as you saw. So the next thing that I really want to do is build some kind of charging station for this black tourmaline. You have probably seen it already in videos because I usually wear it around my neck all the time. Uh, at least when I leave my apartment because this is my my all-round <laughs> protection amulet. But I feel like it has kind of lost its charge and I can't really be bothered to recharge it all the time. So I want to create some kind of charging station. So what I thought I would do is I would take this little clear cord geode because the black tourmaline fits in there perfectly and put it like with protective herbs and other crystals and stuff into this little bowl. It also has a little pentagram in it. So also great for protection. And I will just put it in there and uh, charge it all up as you do. So yeah, that way I can then easily recharge the amulets every night. And I won't have to do it like by hand regularly. I won't have to bother with it. <laughs> clear quartz is great for that because clear quartz is amazing at like keeping a charge. So if you charge it with something, you can charge clear quartz with whatever because you can use clear quartz for whatever purpose. If you charge it with this purpose, this intention, then it will keep that charge basically forever. It won't get uncharged it won't lose its charge. So <laughs> you can basically use it forever. You can always, of course, touch it up, put it in the, in the full moonlight or something like that to give it more oomph, but it won't lose its charge just by itself. So yeah, let's do that. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I also did the last thing that I wanted to do, which I couldn't have showed you because you would have just seen me sit on my meditation cushion with this plant. Because for ages I've wanted to ask one of my uh, houseplants, and I have a lot of houseplants, I've always wanted to ask one of their spirits, one of the plant spirits, to function as a ward for my, for my flat. And I've never done it because I just couldn't be bothered. Uh, but I did it right now. And this is the precious plant that I picked. He's doing really well. Now I also know that it feels like the plant spirit feels like more of a active masculine energy. So I will just refer to him as a he. Um, yeah, so he's a ward now. What I basically did to achieve that is that I um, got into a meditative state of consciousness. I connected to the plant spirit, then I just started talking to it. And first I was just checking if he's like happy in general with the space that he's in, if he gets enough light, enough water, enough nutrients, everything like that. And he seemed pretty happy. So I decided to just ask him if he would be willing to function as a ward for my flat. And he was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> like he, he's, he's very chill. So yeah, he was very willing to do so. And yeah, I, I offered to do something in return for him. Um, so that it's not like he's doing something for me, but I'm not doing something for him that kind of felt wrong. So I asked him what I could do in return. So yeah, he said, I don't know why, but he said he wanted a charged clear quartz buried in his pot and also he wants to get fertilized more often because I usually always forget to fertilize my plants. So yeah, that is what I did. And that's also the last thing that I planned for today. I have now cleaned and cleansed and banished and set up more protections. I'm pretty happy with everything that I did, but now I'm pretty exhausted because if you do like a whole day full of magic, it's just Kind of exhausting so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up and of course check out my instagram and tiktok and my online shop and maybe even consider becoming my patron and i will see you in the next video bye